They do know that just like human beings, dolphins also have sex for fun, but also wonder if they care about the sizes and if they do care about the sizes, who usually sell them Titan gel? And uh, do they have a telegram channel where they sell that? Whoever the scam, okay, it's too early to call it a scam, but before you get there, there are some numbers that we used in the last video. If you want to know what are the normal sizes of the vagina, you can check the previous video. And in this video, we're going to concentrate on men and some of the things they usually do to increase the sizes if they actually work and what are the ones that can shows their hope of actually working. And before we get there, I think we need to go through a tiny bit of anatomy for us to understand how those might promise to work or not even work. Physiologically, penis is supposed to be part of the reproductive system in a male and it contributes to reproduction, yes. And if you can be able to reproduce, then the primary goal is done. Now, let's go to the secondary one, which is now pressure. Okay, it can also contribute to the primary because pleasure is the one that usually leads to ejaculation. But let's get to know exactly what normal sizes are. Now, if you remember from the previous video, that's around five to six. Anything above that, an outlier, anything below that, is also an outlier which needs to be taken care of because it might also contribute to you not being able to reproduce or even have fun. Anyway, majority of those who are normal, that's between 5 and 6, 50% of them have expressed dissatisfaction with their sizes and I think that's the reason we have a booming business somewhere behind the scenes. By the way, we need a, like a, an open forum where you come and tell us whether it's actually working or it works. If it didn't work, then you need to get a refund because that's how we need to keep that business in check. I don't know if... You can come here and tell us whether it's actually working. Okay, it's too early for us to call it a scam. But first of all, let's get to know the physiology of an erection. Because even if you have a bigger size and you cannot get an erection, there is no need for that. So let's get to know how you get an erection. It's quite simple. You see, you feel, just something happened. And the brain is triggered and knows this is a sexual stimuli. A stimuli is something that probes the brain to look into what's going on. Did I even explain anything? Now, a stimuli is something like this. I touch myself, there will be a signal that will be sent to the central nervous system for interpretation, and then another message will be sent through the motor neuron, and this will go to now the particular muscle to either make me pull the hand or may push it away. So that's mostly how it works, apart from the reflex, which usually work a little bit different, but we are not here for that. We are here for, you get a stimuli. It can be a vision, or maybe a feeling, or something happened, or maybe just a touch. You get that? It goes to the brain. Now inside the brain, a signal will be sent to the penis through the motor neuron and this will lead to production of nitric oxide inside the penis. And this is where now nitric oxide will lead to production of something that we call CGMP. And this CGMP will lead to relaxation of the chambers where the blood will come in to give you an erection. But this is not the whole story. Now, when you don't need that erection, it dies off. You know that. So what usually happens is there is another thing that usually produced called PDE5, which usually inhibit the function of CGMP. Now this CGMP is what was triggered off by NO, which is nitric oxide. So Viagra comes in. If you're taking Viagra, this is where it will come in. The function of it is to inhibit the function of PDE5, which usually inhibit the function of CGMP, whose work is to make sure the chambers are relaxed to receive blood and get an erection. Meaning that PD5, if you accumulate that, you're not going to have an erection. So if you get something like Viagra, it will come and inhibit PD5, meaning that CGMP will be an opposed, so it will continue giving you that erection. And that's the function of Viagra. And some of the drugs that usually function the same way to give you the erection. Now that was a side story. You have several methods people have tried using to increase the size. Do they actually hold in water? Do they have any scientific basis? One of such is traction or extender method. And I think I'll put an image here. So the, what it's doing, it's kind of pulling or exerting pressure, which will continuously be pulling it off to stretch it off. And over time, you increase the size. We have some studies suggesting that, yes, it can work, but this is temporary. Now, you might get some results. That's 1.2 to 2 centimeters. And this is for continued use of that device for a period of up to six months. And you're doing this two to three, four, two to four hours a day. I think that's too much work for a 32 centimeters. And this will be in a span of six to eight months, sometimes a year. And this is a temporary result. So meaning that if you stop, it'll just go back to how it used to be. And remember, whether you're fighting the genetics, chances are. And um, there's something called jelking, and this is when you tr it's called milking. So you milk, you kind of force everything outwards like that. So you are forcing blood towards the glands of the penis, 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 penis. 
So you force blood through the glands of the penis and it might give you some few centimeters the same way, but then you are risking several things. One, bruising yourself. Second, what if you go okay? We have vacuum devices where the vacuum will be placed there and it pulls blood towards that organ. Or you're doing it physically. This is very temporary. It will just give you temporary relief. And by the way, there's a way people usually use this. So you pull the blood. Once you get an erection, there is a ring which is placed now almost toward the end of the shaft. And this will keep blood there for you to maintain a, an erection for long. So yeah, it can be a temporary solution, but it doesn't add any length. So I'm sure you've heard about Kijel uh, exercise where you, for example, give you how or you can know that you're doing that. Like, for example, when you're passing out urine, when you press on the brakes, it means that you stop urinating. So you keep doing that, uh, releasing. So breaking and releasing, breaking and releasing, that's Kijel. You're doing that. You're exercising the pelvic floor muscle. This cannot add the length. The only thing that it does, it strengthens your pelvic floor muscles, which will give you a better erection, but it doesn't add any size. Another one is hanging weights. You just tie something heavy that will stretch out the penis. This is similar to gel king and also attraction method. So the dangers are the same and the benefits will be the same. It will be temporary and you're not going to go beyond two centimeters even if you just decide to do that 24 hours a day for seven months. It's not going to give you anything, uh, anything permanent that is. Then we have supplements. We have herbs. We have um, so many things like gels. Let's talk about the gel, which is quite common. That's Titan gel. There is no scientific information no, which is backing it up. Anything which does what it promises, there will be a formula out there of what exactly is inside the Titan gel, the components and uh, the composition and how they function to give you those results. Otherwise, you keep them hidden, that will still be a pyramid, it will be a scam because there is no one who will come back to complain that it didn't work because if we have people coming back to complain, then we are going to shift the narrative now from whether it's actually working to why did you get that in the first place? So they take advantage of such, they, they take advantage of these insecurities. And we say it in the normal people, 50 to 54% are insecure about their sizes. And yet they are normal. So yeah, they take that loophole and we have so many other supplements that really promise the same. They are going to increase the size. They are going to enhance your erection. There is no scientific information which is out there as yet. Maybe it will come in the future, but Titan Gel and all the other things that are promising out there. We need an open forum. You people come back and tell us exactly if it works. There is another one which is quite interesting, hypnosis or body-mind techniques. They try to use the brains to control the mechanisms of growth and uh, you get the growth. Sounds like a very famous cult. And whatever you're going to get are placebo effects. And finally, three conventional procedures that promises to give results. We have the first one is surgical insertion of an implant or correction. We have those that usually are done to correct the curvature. We have another one which is dermal filling. They take fat from another section of your body and uh, they are going to inject into your penis to increase the girth. The risks associated with this procedure is actually not that known because you don't know we fear of necrosis. It can happen, we're not sure. That can happen. It's, it's a possibility. Also in surgical procedure, you know the risks that usually come with surgery. And the third one, which is injection, can be injected with hyaluronic acid or something like collagen, which will be injected to stimulate the growth. And this growth comes with an at its advantage. You don't get a hard erection. It's spongy. And this table will give you a summary of everything you might want to know. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, the best can be panel extenders, we have traction devices, we have panel pumps, you have dermophilas, surgical procedure, and those can give you some gains here and there. The other ones, like Gel King, we have pills, supplements, herbs, gels, we have exercises, those are the key gel, which will be beneficial for just getting a hard erection, but not the size. We have hanging weights, we have hypnosis, and all those. You don't give you anything. Anyway, I hope you learned something. The next video should be what's the best contraceptive method? Is it hormonal, non hormonal? Is it sterilization? Also, if you're interested in a video about um, the normal vaginal sizes, you can go back to the video that I did and try to put it here and make sure you subscribe for just, just join the community.